Hey, what's going on? Thank you so much for watching. It would mean the world to us if you could just scroll down, like, hit the subscribe button for the Snaps YouTube channel. It goes a long way towards helping us out. Now, let's dive into some college football. Another interesting story where... Uh, oh, and I want to get into some of this quarterback transfer portal news. Let me bring up my Google Doc from earlier. Uh, but Ohio State, uh, an Ohio State lineman came out and went on a podcast. And when it rains, it pours mm. for Ryan Day. He came out on this podcast and basically said they didn't practice that much for the bowl game. He said they did some light workouts, some light practices, which again, I'm not, you don't want to do like a full on another camp. No. But how we said it made it seem like their focus was kind of elsewhere. And look, we know what the calendar is, so that would kind of make sense. It's just, um, it just comes at the worst possible fucking time mm -hmm. for Ryan Day because already, and it's so crazy how things quickly things could change. I mean, last year he's one play away from winning a national championship. I think they would have beaten TCU. Not like Georgia, well, they beat them, but they would have they beat them. them. They would have beat them. There's so no he has one play away from winning that championship. Now, he's lost three times in a row to Michigan. He just lost to Mizzou. He's got a center out here saying that they didn't really practice that hard or work that hard leading up to it. Uh, that podcast has now been deleted to tell you that somebody mm. got a little defensive and made them mm. delete it. And... Uh, on the uh, kind of ancillary part of the story, like LSU just had a very good tackle leave, Lance Hurd, right? And everybody's like, why? And it's like, well, LSU didn't want to pay him how much Hurd wanted. But in that same pod, the Ohio State alignment is talking about a teammate that just left for Miami that's getting a million dollars a year mm. from Miami. So if you have a player leave your roster, just understand they're just doing it a lot of times for playing time and to make more money, which are like the yeah. two most understandable things in the entire world, but yeah, just kind of shit seems to be swirling around Ryan day right now. Well, and, and, and I'll, I'll, I'll somewhat defend him here with, with the whole practice. I mean, one, like it, it, it is bowl practice and, and you and I have been there before. Like it is a mixture of fun slash getting reps for a lot of the young guys. Like I remember there's practices where I didn't even practice. Like it was Jeez. literally just, we do, you, I, I grew up in less miles. Yeah. We used to do fucking camp. We had fall. We did it. Good. It was so. We had, we had a couple of days where literally, like, I would sit on the sidelines and we would just scrimmage the young guys. Like, it was like, oh, all right, no. twos versus twos. <laughs> we're gonna do a scrimmage and we're just gonna let those guys kind of get some reps because they've been kind of scout team guys the entire year. So, like, and then obviously you're doing the traveling, you're doing this event and that event, and all. There's a many things. But to defend him, as soon as the the, the portal opened, not that like they got completely gutted, but they had some key pieces leave. Yeah. I think he's, and then this is, this goes to the calendar issue that you and I have talked about. Like how easy is it to, 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 to game plan and get ready for a, a bowl game when you're Ohio state, knowing that you're not in the playoffs, when you know that you have to go find a quarterback and you have to go find this position you have to go find that yeah. position, when you're trying to figure out ways in which you could be more competitive with Michigan. There's and you're trying to work in a new quarterback because you don't have a new quarterback. <laughs> like there's a lot of shit that is going on in these coaches plates right now. And a, and a guy that lost a lot of things that, that especially on the offside of the football. So I get why there's some distraction and that goes like, what's well, yeah, like the calendar needs to be cleaned up. So these coaches can just say, okay, I have to get ready for a bowl game. I have to get ready for the playoffs, not I need to go recruit. I need to go with the portal. I need to go figure out this, that. I have to go figure out how to get my offensive lineman a million bucks because he's about to go to Miami. Like shit like that takes away from you being able to run a very good practice. Uh, I, I, I agree, but, but, and, 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 okay, to be fair, I think you're exactly right. Like too much is going to be made of this story. Way too much. Um, but it will be made. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Just because people are angry. And when people are angry, any shred of information that is going to further that anger will be highlighted. See, I don't, I don't, Wabu feel like Poppy says mad. they're going to win the big, bro. You don't think Ohio State fans are fucking angry losing I don't think to they're Michigan angry. three years in a row? I don't feel as much anger as I did a year ago because I feel like fans knew that last year's, last year's team was better and the game was at home. I think, okay, people, but how about I, think I think, I think part of the blame goes to, we didn't have a good quarterback this year. I think some of that is being deflected on the quarterback situation and less. Well, they don't day. have a good quarterback now. Who are they going to get? They need, well, uh, what's his name from Kansas State? about to take a visit there. They need to get his ass. Are they in trouble? Oh, we just saw. Okay, so you're telling me, like, if Will Howard is your god, I'm that's not, not he's. That's I'm not, not saying that he's going to win you in that championship. It's better. Yes, it's better than what you had this year. It's better what you have on the roster right now. 
Will Howard significantly better than Kyle McCord? Yes. Okay. And he is significantly better than what I saw in the bowl game. Significantly okay. better. If they don't get Will Howard, they're in trouble next year. Um, so there is a new name that just entered the mix, although it feels like there's clear connections here. But um Caden Salter from Liberty entering the mm. transfer portal. Now, of Will course, Howard. of course, um Caden Salter played at Liberty for Hugh Freeze. Hugh Freeze is one of the other major brands that is stacking mm. weapons in desperate need of a quarterback. I don't know about how Salter feels about Hugh Freeze. What I do know, if I'm Caden Salter, I can make a lot of money getting in a bidding war between USC, Ohio State, and Auburn right but now. But didn't we just find out that Ohio State's State. not paying players? Didn't we, didn't we no, just no, have no, that discussion? No, 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 no. As, 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 as Hinsman kind of, I think it was more of like a, we're not paying a million dollars to a lineman or to yeah. that player specifically. I, I Ohio State paying players. Remember, Ryan Day did he also said, talk about it. He, he said in, million in dollars or whatever. He was quoted saying Ohio State doesn't like to play players in general, period. Which is the same shit that you Georgia fans like to claim, and then you're like, no, oh, Kirby wait, doesn't like to pay Georgia freshmen. Actually spent, different. Di- Georgia freshmen. actually spent more money no, uh, no, in a higher no. recruiting you're gonna, budget. You're going to say this wrong again. They had a stay higher right. recruiting. They had a higher recruiting budget in terms of yes. the expenses, what they spend on recruiting. This is not in I. This is not paying high school yes, players. Thank you, thank you. But 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 we would be naive to think that it doesn't extend to that. Uh, they spent more on recruiting by a wide margin than anybody else in the country. Anybody else in the entire country? Yeah, because Kirby takes a, a a fucking helicopter everywhere. That shit ain't cheap. Um. Yeah, I know. No, look, it fucking works, dude. Look at the results. I'm not saying you're not getting your money's worth, you're but don't fucking sit here. Don't don't fucking sit here and say that we don't want to pay players. Like Ohio State fans can't say that either. I, I think uh, I think the quarterback situation. A just told us it takes like seven million or eleven million to keep a roster together. I I think I think it, it comes down to a lot of times when it comes to, and I was like, how desperate are you? And Auburn has money, and I think Auburn after the bowl game also themselves realize that we need a quarterback or it's going to be the same shit next year. And so does Ohio State. And fuck, so does USC kind of still right now. Mm. I mean, we're not as high on... I think all, Auburn has... Auburn. I don't think you realize some, Auburn's got some money to spend. Oh, no, I know. And, and I mean, shit, I don't realize they've fucking been spending it. I know. And, um, well, and again, Hugh Freeze and Caden Salter literally were yeah. together. Now, the only way that could get problematic is like, what if Caden Salter just didn't like Hugh Freeze? Yeah. Yeah, so we 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 don't know. Or um, how about a few freeze just didn't like him either? I mean, there goes that way too. Like you know him true, true. personally. Also, like in terms of uh, Kaden told you maybe like who's that? Um, he threw for three thousand yards last year, thirty two touchdowns, six picks. He ran for a thousand with twelve more touchdowns. Nope. Uh, he was fourth in the nation in yards per attempt, nine point nine two. I had, I had like one of the games. I had a Liberty game mid year. I had a Liberty game mid-year. He's talented now. Good size, good arm. I mean, he's a massive upgrade over Peyton Thorne. If you were an Auburn fan, you would be ecstatic if you landed Salter. Yes. 